and welcome back to the channel. It's Super Bowl Sunday and we're preparing for our Super Bowl party here, of which there'll be a Super Bowl party of two, as me and me and Sue, three, sorry I'll forget that, three, me and uh, the sous chef, Mr Wiggins and Sue will be watching the game later on with our Super Bowl uh, uh, chicken, chicken sours burger, which I said is Andy Reid special. Uh, which I've done here. It's lovely, isn't it? I'll tell you what, it's better than anything you'd buy in the shop. Oh yeah, for sure. So what I've done is I've got some uh, chicken sours, basically. I've got some uh, bonus chicken thigh in buttermilk. We're using uh, Rana, which is around here somewhere. Oh, this one. Rana, which is a, uh, this is a goat's milk, um, like a drink yogurty type thing. So we're using that instead of uh, buttermilk, but you can use buttermilk. You put garlic in there, you can put some onion powder and some chicken seasoned paprika. Um, marinate the chicken in that, say 24 hours. And that looks really super cool. Yeah, marinate it for 24 hours or 12, minimum 12 hours, say. And then you want to add into there some egg, some flour, and corn flour, about a cup of, and you end up with like a thick batter consistency. Yeah, look, if you can see there now. Oh, wow, yeah, look, like that. Thick, that looks amazing, look. Sticking batter consistency, basically uh, you're doing like a southern fried chicken, really, with using a sour batter. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm. I'll tell you what, we, you had a bit of experience in the week, didn't you? Did some, uh, I did, you can sort of talk about that if you wish. Yeah, there's a prison chip shop not far from where we live, and um, on Friday night, Peter had a bit of an experience. Oh yes, you're talking about that. I thought, it was, uh, yeah, I was just wondering. Yeah, and it's nice to have home cooked food, isn't it? I'm not talking about it. It is. I mean, we, it's, it's sad in the sense of one of you, your uh, good fish and chip shop, which we sort of like started going for in the first day. Yeah, it seems to have gone downhill a little bit. And that's um, two important. people who uh, I know, we know of, where they went there, and it was on really Saturday nice. night, on Friday night evening, and but they all got everybody got ups, bad tummies and upset yeah. tummy. Yeah, but this looks absolutely delicious. Yeah. It's really nice. I think it makes you appreciate having a chef or anything there. Yeah, so this is my Andy Andy Reid burger without and the beef. Oh, you Andy's obviously trying to... Um, Are you serving that inside a brioche bun? I'm going to do brioche buns and I'm going to do a um, red, cabbage, red, um, red pepper and, and uh, cabbage, white cabbage slaw, of which I've used a, um, a sweet uh, pickle in there, which is just basically vinegar, sugar, and I've put some... Uh, five spices in there to give it some sort of asian -y flavor to it it's and then nice. season up salt and pepper so it'll be it'll pickle it down a little bit and i'm going to put that on top of my chicken and there's the uh, sous chef's chicken the sous chef's chicken has just come out of the oven too we're going to cool that down soon yeah it's and then we'll cut, cut his dinner as you can see that's what we're doing it looks really super nice doesn't it Maybe, yeah. okay. my how many portions have you made out there I've probably made it more than I need, but I'll, I'll cook it and then I can, you, we can put it in the fridge till tomorrow. Well, unfortunately, guys, our fridge has gone oh, to yeah. heaven. <laughs> it's died. So maybe it's we'll died be... bad. And if you're working for me, your Bosch, please send us a fridge <laughs> away. Yeah. As uh, our one is dead. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Mine's here. Yeah, it's getting cold. It could be the freezer from the bottom. Yeah. The sunshine freezer in our freezer is a minus 32 degrees. That's pretty cold if you're in Canada, that's right. It's pretty cold, yeah, if you're in Canada. Well, the Arctic Circle, it's probably about right, but... Mind you, it's supposed to be getting cold in here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But that just smells really lovely. If you could smell that, that is absolutely incredible. So what's your verdict on tonight, then? Right, tonight it's going to be a close game, and I believe it's all about the defence tonight, and it's going to be, it's going to be close. I think Spags is going to pull something out of the bag and Andy's going to be able to pull some tricks and as long as um, the quarterbacks make less mistakes and I reckon Purdy's inexperience with Kansas, with Spags' defence, I reckon they're going to hurry him and he's going to put him under pressure and he's going to throw interceptions like he's done all year when he's been flushed out of the pocket, he makes mistakes. The team who makes the less mistakes will win tonight and I think we'll pay the kickers every penny there are to go make sure they make their kicks tonight. Okay, cool, so that's your verdict. That's my verdict. I think it's going to be Kansas City, but it's going to be a, a close game. Okay, okay. We'll come back to you shortly and we'll show you the finished product. And bye for now. Bye for now. 